Hello and welcome to Finextra TV. I'm Hannah Wallace and kindly joining us in the virtual studio today in the lead up to Singapore Fintech Festival is Dr. Darian McBain. So Darian, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Hi Hannah, lovely to see you here. Really good to have you on and excited to be speaking with you in the lead up uh, to the much anticipated Singapore Fintech Festival where I know you'll be very uh, busy in speaking on a number of sessions uh, including a roundtable titled AI Driven Net Zero, a case-based approach for decarbonisation and climate risk mitigation. Uh, and that's the one I want to focus on uh, for this interview. Um, but speaking off the back of that, I'm interested to hear about some of the key challenges that you're hoping to bring forward in the roundtable around driving that net zero transition. Uh, what do you think will be brought up over the roundtable? So I'm sure one of the first things will be brought up is about the data. So how do we understand if we're really driving towards net zero? So this requires a lot of data, whether it's on CO2 emissions, scope one or two or three emissions, and really how we're tracking and how we monitor progress because we don't want to get to 2050 and realize that we missed our milestones, you know, 10 years ago. And so how we use data and how AI can help us manage these really large data sets will be very important. We see some really interesting innovations with how the data is being managed uh, using AI. So particularly around transition planning, I think we like to think of a transition plan as, well, my CO2 emissions are here and we're going to draw a straight line to there, which is zero. But of course, the real world is much more complicated and there will be changes by regulation, by what other countries do, by what different companies do, by innovations and other technology. And so you really do need to be able to get into these big data sets and use the power of AI to help us understand what is a very complex topic. All right. Thank you so much for bringing us up to date, Darren. So off the back of that, then it'd be great if you could share some examples then of uh, effective and sustainable adoption of AI technologies that you really think and see are driving that transition. A great example comes from the University of Zurich and Oxford University. So when I was at the Point Zero Forum, which is also run by the same group, Elevandi, who runs Singapore FinTech Festival, I went to the University of Zurich to see what they were developing. And it was a tool called Climate Bird. So using AI training on uh, natural language models and being able to read through basically sustainability reports to pull out commitments around CO2 reduction and transition to net zero, but then being able to judge where the different companies and organizations were actually going. So if anyone has ever read a sustainability report, it takes a lot of time to go through and to understand the context and then compare and contrast. And now there's this great tool that they've developed also with Oxford University called Chat Climate, where you can search any reports and any information and really understand how companies are transitioning. And being able to do this relatively simply and through a simple chat tool, obviously it's very complex what's happened behind the scenes, but it brings a lot of power of that data to the user. Wonderful. And I know that one of the big uh, topic areas you'll be discussing is the importance of collaboration in driving that transition as well. So tell us how important do you think collaboration is here and what are the practical next steps as well with that? Collaboration is absolutely key when we're talking about these global issues. You know, no one country, no one company can solve the challenges alone. So I think you need all different players. You need academia, you need business, you need the regulators, you need politicians, and you need people. We need us as citizens to all be buying into these solutions and really engaging on what we're trying to achieve. So I think the next step is really to engage people on the tools that are developing. And AI is just a classic example of how amazing tools have developed almost out of the woodwork, it seems, to a user over the past year and become familiar with these tools and actually put them to work in the real world. It's absolutely fascinating. And I urge anyone uh, wanting to learn more to tune into that roundtable. Uh, but Darren, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Uh, there's a lot more I want to cover, so which we'll save that uh, for our next interview. But thank you very much. Thank you, Hannah.